equal right to life for both the preborn and the born. So we're there to help women. Those for and against abortion taking to Tucson streets today, making their voices heard. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Heidi Alaga. And I'm Pat Paris. Hundreds of local high school students taking a stand over the leaked Supreme Court draft opinion that could overturn Roe versus Wade. Nine on your side's Craig Smith was there for the demonstration, and he joins us now live from the U of A campus. Craig? Well, this is the spot that the uh, students marched to here on the U of A campus so they could speak out on one of the hottest issues in American public life. Tucson High School students were the first to tell us they were organizing a march and protest over a leaked draft opinion from the Supreme Court, showing a majority of the justices seemed prepared to reverse Roe versus Wade, the more than 50-year-old ruling that secured abortion rights. Students began assembling at Tucson High shortly before 10. Soon, other large student groups joined the march to University of Arizona's Highland Commons. Hundreds of students were there as students spoke listened and made it clear why they felt compelled to stand up and speak out. I feel like it's important to be here because I don't want my right for an abortion to be taken away and I feel like um, that's just something that I feel like I should have. As a trans man with a uterus, I think it's incredibly important to stand up for the women with uteruses and for other men with uteruses. But in general, the movement isn't just for women or people with uteruses. If the parent cannot take care of that kid, it's not a good life, and it's not a life that that baby deserves to live. If it deserves to live, it deserves to live a good life. And forcing a parent who cannot support a child to have that kid is putting the kid in more danger. I was here to support my friends and here to support my, um, just all women that I know, because there's a lot of women in my life who have had abortions and have had, just have had a lot of issues with birth, and I want them, I think all women should have that opinion, should have that, um, choice to have an abortion if they want. These students understand that Supreme Court justices who interpret the law are not supposed to be swayed by demonstrations and public opinion, but politicians who make the laws do worry about what people say and what they do with their vote. Students say even if they're too young to vote, they can still work for candidates who align with their views. And we did see people offering voter registration signups here. The law says you must be 18 to vote, but you can register if you are not 18 yet, if you will reach your 18th birthday by the time of the next general election coming up in November. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side. Craig, thank you. While that rally was held, Pro Love Tucson, a pro-life group, was outside a local Planned Parenthood. Now, many of their volunteers, called sidewalk advocates, say they're working to get women another choice besides abortion. Now, Lucy Smith is director of Pro Love Tucson. She says she would like Roe versus Wade to be overturned and let states decide. You know, we just focus on no matter what the condition of the conception, uh, that's still a human life. And so many women that have been sexually abused are still able to go ahead and choose to continue that pregnancy. And they're so grateful because they're not healing from two traumas. If Roe versus Wade is overturned, abortion laws will be up to individual states. In March, Arizona Governor Doug Ducey signed SB 1164, which bans abortion after 15 weeks, with the only exception being a medical emergency.